up to the point e at this point at this point at this point at any points the corresponding load is removed if the corresponding load is removed then the wire regains its uh, original length that's why the point e is called here elastic limit means up to the point e only the wire is a uh, retaining the its elasticity property means the wire is showing its elasticity property beyond the point e what happens here the wire loses its elasticity property means uh, there is some particular <coughs> permanent increase in length is produced in the wire so that the wire the point e is called here elastic limit means up to the point e at any point if you remove the load the wire regains its original length that's why the point e is called here elastic limit here we observe a small thing here between a point p and point e from point p to point e the graph is curved the graph is curved means uh, there is no direct proportionality between the stress and the strain means uh, up to the point p only the graph is straight line this means that hooks law is obeyed up to point p only up to the point p only stress and strain are direct proportional to each other from point p to e the graph is a uh, slightly curved slightly curved means uh, there is no direct proportionality between stress and strain means from point p to point e there is no hooks law is a valid means hooks law is hooks law is not obeyed by the wire from point p to point e even though up to the point e the wire is retaining its uh, elasticity property so that the point e is called here elastic limit beyond the elastic limit if the respective load is increased uh, then the wire loses its uh, or elasticity property and a permanent increase in length is produced here so e is called here elastic limit c and uh, from e to y the graph is more curved from p to e slightly curved from e to y it is more curved what is the meaning of this it means that from e to y for small increase in the load there is a large deformation is produced means large elongation is produced and uh, what does this y is called this y is called here yield point the point y is called here yield point yield point means what it is here it is the point beyond which even though without increase in load the wire starts yielding wire starts yielding means a uh, wire uh, will elongate like a viscous liquid means a uh, wire elongates on uh, at the same load uh, like a viscous liquid like a visc uh, li viscous liquid flows like a uh, some oil is flowing like some water is flowing how does uh, oil flows in the same way the wire also elongates uh, at the same load uh, without increase in the load here that's why the point y is called here yielding point the point y is called yielding point because of uh, beyond the point y without increase in a uh, load attached here what happens the wire starts yielding means the wire uh, elongates uh, at the same load that's why the point y is called here yielding point and uh, what happens here between e and y between e and y at any point if you remove the load the wire cannot regain its original length means uh, there is permanent increase length is produced uh, in the wire up to the point e only at any point if you remove the load the wire the wire can regain its original length but after point e at any point between e and y the wire cannot regain its original length and uh, at point y if you remove the load then the graph cannot come back along p e y e p to o at y if we remove the load the graph cannot come back along the y e p to o it comes uh, along uh, <coughs> this and uh, it intersects the strain axis at a point called uh, o dash now what is o o dash here o o dash is the permanent uh, strain it is called uh, permanent set here o o dash is called here permanent set what is the meaning of permanent set here permanent set is nothing but it is a ratio of uh, permanent elongation produced uh, permanent elongation produced by original length here permanent set is the ratio of uh, permanent elongation produced in the wire divided by original length that is the permanent set at point y if we remove the load the wire 
the graph cannot come back along y e p 2 o but it comes back along this line and intersects this strain axis at a point o dash now here o o dash is called permanent set permanent set is nothing but it is the permanent strain produced permanent strain is equals to permanent set is equals to permanent increase in length by original length now at point y what is happening here yielding of the wire is starting yielding of the wire nothing but wire flows like a viscous liquid means a wire become thin and thin at the same load means without increase in the load then what happens see as the wire is becoming thin and thin as the thinning of the wire is started here radius of the wire is gradually decreasing as the wire become thin and thin see as the wire is thinning the radius is decreasing as the radius decreases then what happens stress increases here we are not changing the mass attached to the wire beyond the point y beyond the point y without changing the load without changing the mass what's happening the thinning of the wire is started means the radius is decreasing as radius decreases stress increases that is shown in the graph like this here the stress is increased uh, till a point uh, reached that is uh, called point t at point t the stress is maximum in the wire that stress is called here tensile stress is called tensile stress this uh, tensile stress is the maximum stress for the wire thereafter what happens after crossing the point t the thinning of the wire is not uniform means uh, kinks are produced in the wire means uh, after crossing the point t the wire cannot uh, uh, withstand with the load it going to break means uh, after crossing a point t the wire breaks down at a point b that is called a breaking point at this point the wire breaks down from point t to point b stress is decreased whenever it is going to break uh, suddenly stress decreases stress decreases to point b now point b is called here breaking points now this is the behavior of the wire under gradually increasing load mainly from this graph we can understand that from o to p the graph is a straight line means stress is directly proportional to the strain hooks lies obeyed up to point p from p to e the graph is slightly curved means uh, hooks lies not obeyed even though up to the point e at any point if you remove the load the wire regains its original length uh, so that point e is called elastic limit after crossing point e between e and y e and y at any point if you remove the load the wire cannot regain its, its, its length uh, means it is losing its elasticity property and point y is called here yielding point because uh, at a point y the yielding of the wire starts means a uh, wire become thin and thin that's why point y is called here yielding point uh, now at point y if you remove the load the, uh, the graph cannot come back along the path uh, y e p o it uh, come back along this line and intersects the strain axis at a point o dash now o o dash is called permanent set permanent set is equal to permanent uh, increase in length by original length here and uh, at y even though without increase in load the wire becoming thin and thin means uh, at the same load we are not changing the mass here the wire is becoming thin and thin means uh, radius is decreasing as radius decreases stress increases so the stress is increased uh, up to the point t that is called tensile points at the tensile point the respective stress is called here tensile stress uh, thereafter what happens the wire cannot retain uh, the load means uh, cannot withstand with the load now wire uh, kinks will be produced in the wire the wire going to break so that whenever the wire is going to break uh, the stress will be decreased uh, to the value and uh, we get the point b that point b is called here breaking point